Imagine yourself sitting by a beautiful grand piano like this one, and you look up there and on the music it says, marriage, a duet. And you're sitting there by yourself, and periodically people walk by. They kind of look at you and look at the piano and say, hey, why don't you play that song? somebody else walks by and says to you, well, hey, why don't you, how come you don't play that song? And you say, I'd like to. I would love to play this song. Um, I'm sure the music's beautiful, but somebody else who, by their own agency, has to be willing to come and sit here and play it with me. Well, you could play it if you had more faith. Now, could I play a duet with these ten fingers? somebody else walks up and says, hey, why don't you play that song? I'd like to. But somebody with their own agency that God will not violate has to choose to sit there next to me and play it with me. And they say, well, you're just being too picky. Focus on what you can control. And sometimes we don't. We give our feelings to somebody else and we say, here, you, you decide how I'm going to feel today. My favorite part is what to do while you're waiting. You want all this to happen, what do you do? Here's what you do. Sitting there at that piano. You play what you can play. You play what you can play. Listen, silent pianos do not attract crowds. So you take that marriage duet and you put it aside and you grab something else and you play what you can play.